Is it the food, the live band, or the chance for lifelong friends to come together as they have for 106 years at the annual Old Timers Day here at Cascade Park? Well, I come out here every year to uh, give a, a welcome on behalf of the county and our board of judges to uh, the people who attend Old Timers Day. Uh, plus, I just enjoy coming out because I get to see a lot of people that I haven't seen for a long time. And I, I really enjoy seeing all the people who are here intermingling and reminiscing and talking about the old days. It's just a lot of fun. This year's event drew in over 800 people. They spent the afternoon filling their plates with the event's famous food. Well, the, the, good, the food's always good, and that, that's, the, that's probably the highlight of it all. And dance the afternoon away to the tunes from the Jim Frank Trio. Another important celebration, aside from the getting together of old friends, was that of a special woman. Maxine Blostel made it to Old Timers Day with the help of her caregivers. Actually, the oldest person is 103, and I, I'm just thrilled that somebody could come at that age. While they may not have won the award for oldest female, Perhaps one couple might have rejoiced with their own award of being the events couple who's been happily married the longest. Well, me and my wife, we, we've been married for 70 years, and uh, we get along good. And now to start another goal. I'm working on the next 70. <laughs> The annual picnic of the old timers has welcomed the elderly since its launch at Cascade on August 23, 1907, where it brought in over 7,000 people. And it truly is a community effort to put on. I'm just thrilled that they come. And I have to thank a lot of the people that contribute. It's all uh, donated and we wouldn't be able to do it without them. I especially want to thank the Elmira Foundation, they gave us most of the money for the food. So I really, I don't know how, I wouldn't be able to do it without all the contributions. Bye, have fun. At Cascade Park in Newcastle, I'm Courtney Crown for the Newcastle News.